Pele a month to what Athletic Championship in Oregon, USA. Nigerians are beginning to do well when it comes to athletics. Among them, Toby Loba Amushan, who actually did well winning 100 meter hurdles uh, for herself over there in Finland at Toku Race World International Championship, where she was able to do well. Good one for Toby Loba Amushan. That will be the story that will be looking out for us on the show. 360 Sport on Trust TV. I am Adeni Ajishafe. Joining me this evening is Joel Ajayi. Good to have you, Joel. Good evening to you. Good one. Now, let's start from the home scene. At least Nigerians are really doing well when it comes to athletics now. And we hope they will transfer days to the World Championship in Oregon. Also, Birmingham, that is coming away against, are be coming up in Birmingham, England. If they continue this way, we expect a lot of uh, gold medals in that competition. Toby Loba, a Nigerian hurdler, who really did well for herself. 100 meter hurdles. She did well. Number one, World Athletics Continental Tour in Toku, Finland. This lady did well. She won gold for Nigeria in Mauritius at the African Athletics Championship just uh, uh, like a week and a half ago. And now we are celebrating her. Well, a good one for the fact that she has been able to do this. And again, she's really making, uh, making waves when it comes to 100 meter hurdles. That is a good one for, for the uh, Amusan mm. because uh, if you look at it in the couple of uh, weeks now, she has been trying as much as possible to write it, her name in, in gold. gold. Mm. And then I said it in the morning editions of this 360 uh, spot uh, in the morning that if we have a, some of the competition like this before the proper competition, we'll be able to try as much as possible to adjust on whatever mistake or whatever losses we make. And then what worked for Ezebrumi, as I said in, in, in the morning, is what is working for Amusant for too. Amusan too. In, 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 on Tuesday, she won uh, the 100 meter and then she, she helped the team to even win, win the, the four by four, four, by four, four meter, meter women. women. So if, if she keep on moving like this, and now we have less than one month to the competition coming up in, in US you keep on improving on what you have done. Mm. At least there is no how you will not make it. That's why I said it in the morning. Maybe this period will be the first of a uh, medal for Nigeria. Mm. Look at it now. Now the, the government on its own, through the uh, Ministry of Youth and Sports, have tried as much as possible to say that, okay, the trials for this uh, tournament that are coming up, the, the, the camp will be open in, a, in Edo, Benin City. Benin City, which to me is a very good one. When you have the local athletes here, you match them with those people that are doing well up there in, uh, in Europe. Before you know, you will just have a whole basket of uh, medal whenever any competition is coming. So for me, it's a very good uh, uh, move for the game for the Amazon herself. And then we wish our way. We want to see her winning, uh, the, ruling the whole world whenever we have a bigger competition like, like Olympic, Olympics, like, Commonwealth, like Games. Commonwealth Game and, uh, and the rest. And now uh, looking at the World Athletic Championship that will be coming up in Oregon, yeah. at least uh, this lady, she has been in the US, she know what it takes to compete against the Americans of this world, the Jamaicans. She knows them very well. And right now, uh, she, she's really doing so well. And I remember last time it was 12.78 yep. as she ran. And now it shows that really Amushan is improving yes. on, her, on mm -hmm. her performance. And she's really looking at if I can continue this way to Oregon, from Oregon to Birmingham, mm -hmm. who knows? Mm -hmm. Maybe I can get gold, gold, and that will actually propel mm -hmm. her to the too. next Olympics. That is, that is what I, I was saying in, in, in the first place. When we have a situation like this, you improve on your game. But there is one secret I want to tell to uh, talk to uh, tell them this present moment now. Your fit now, your result now, sends your opponent on a serious uh, running hmm. because they will be try as much as possible to cover up. To too. cover up, to be so you don't need to just relax. Hmm. When you are not relaxing, you improve from what we did in uh, in, in Mauritius last week. You improve, you improve. 0.1 or 0.17 there about so you try as much as possible that in the next game that is coming you bring you are, you are going to improve on it because in the u.s uh, competition you are going to have more athletes that will be there and then you need to just work on this even on your own personal personal exercise on your own personal practice you can set a target for yourself see how you can improve maybe two point something or three point something. So when the competition is fully on ground, you'll be able to pull the same record and beat anybody that's, that is competing with you. 
So that is my own point for him. He's a good one. And then as a, as a nation, we need to just uh, showcase this kind of player, encourage them, support them in whatever way we can do. And then I believe that the, the sky will not even be the limit for this, uh, this young Nigeria, but it will be a starting point. It should be a certain point talking about Nigerian athletes who are right now competing and doing well in all the races they've been competing in. And now we are celebrating the lives of Toby Lover. I mentioned there, we actually won 100 meter hurdles in Taku, Finland, uh, in that competition. Also, don't forget the fact that earlier today we talked about Lesse Brume. Uh, she did well in long jump. Uh, all of them, a host of them, are really doing a favor of Philly over there in the US. She's also running the race of her life. Also doing well. Not forgetting like the short putter, uh, Nekwechi Chikubeka, who's also doing well in that sport. Uh, Shade Olatoye in Hammer. We have this course. A lot of Nigerians are really doing well. Although when it comes to athletics, one of our strengths in sport. And now this is, seems to be favoring Nigerians. It's been a while. We've seen them doing so well. But now they are coming back, uh, looking at what happened at the Olympics. But now they've actually put that behind them and moving forward to do well in this particular sport. Just uh, uh, as we speak right now, some Nigerians will be competing. They will be competing in wrestling, talking about uh, Bless Your Bro Dudu, Odwanade Kuri, and also Kola Wale Black. Esther. They will be going to Italy to compete at the uh, Milikon competition where they will be ranked among the best. Well, good one. Nigerians are really doing well. At least not everyone will do football. Some will do other sports and they are doing well in those sports. Now we move to the second story is trending. Let's talk about Wafu B, the Golden Eaglet. They'll be very golden so far. They won two matches. They scored at least six, six, seven goals in, in the two matches, 4-2 against Ghana and 3-1 against, against, ben, uh, against Togo. Togo. And now the boys are really smiling. Uh, Unduka Ugbade, the coach, who also uh, as a player that has won it before when he was a player. And now as a coach, he wants to win it and he wants to do well. Although he said he was scared before the game, but now they won the game against Togo. Well, they've been won by Manu Gaba. A man that has been there, he, he has seen it all, that they should not be complacent. Despite the fact that they won, they won their two games, they should be very serious as they go for the semi-final and hopefully to the final and also lifting the trophy. But they should not be complacent. I think for me, it's a very good advice to, to coach uh, Umbade because uh, when you are winning, when you are winning, we'll don't win. let the mentality of winning enter your, your head. Yeah. Because if it enter your head, you might you might not get to the to, to, to the promised land. So for someone that have won it at the world level, someone that have won it at Africa level, to be saying this kind of making this kind of advice, giving this kind of appeal, saying. he knows what he was saying. But for me, I think uh, we uh, when we are talking about eighth grade competition in Nigeria for past like five, six, seven years. We have been seeing, uh, on, uh, let me just use, in, use this word, um, uh, on, on seriousness on the part of the, on the administrator. But when the priority, the little priority have been given to uh, the eighth grade, that is why you, why you are seeing this kind of results. If you look at it like uh, four weeks ago, we saw the like of Ladamboso went to Niger, saw and conquer. It's been long that we have done something like that mm. in the continent because we've neglected the eighth grade competition. We all focus on Super Ego. And then this thing is not bringing results for us. But now that we have gone back to drum ball, let me just use that one. If truly, truly we have gone back to drum ball, that is why you are seeing the result. Not that alone. If you look at Flamingos, you know what they did in the, in the course of qualifying for the World Cup mm. uh, that is coming up in, in, in India. So for me, there is need for you to lay a solid and good foundation if we want to be winning at the senior on national level. And then it starts from the like of Golden Eaglet, the Flying Eagle, and Flamigos. And then that's why you are seeing the result. Because before, they will be going to competition, you will not even know the name of competition they are going. Because the administrator puts more attention on the Super Eagle. When Super Eagle is going, you carry them to uh, Austria. You carry them to everywhere. USA, but everywhere. these people, that where you are going to pick your player, that, um, I, I, I am saying this thing because that is what we need to say as a nation. Before, you will see many local players in our national team. All of a sudden, because we left, we, we left what we were supposed to do at eighth grade, and that's why we are now uh, making use of uh, foreign uh, Nigeria player out there. But today, if we have this kind of flying eagle that just won 
uh, a tournament in uh, Niger. And then if God or even smile on these people as he's smiling on them right now, they carry the, the oh. trophy, you will be able to look at four, five, six, seven players that can you can push that you that you are under 20 go to under 23 you that under 17 go to under 20 by there before you know you will have a pool of player you will not be able to even know how many players you want to pick for super ego when you have four or five players playing the same position you have headache in doing that and then by that even those people that will be at the at the bench will be more better than even those people that that will, will be uh, on the, the field of play. So for me, I think uh, it's a good one for 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 nation. It's a good one for NFF. But we want to appeal to NFF more. My own is more more or less appeal because we are stakeholder. We don't want football. We don't want sport to go down. Put more attention to all this age grade. By then we will get there. It might be two, three, four, five years. But if we keep on moving like this, there is no how we will not be the like of. Yeah, Argentina, the like of England, the like of Germany, Brazil. even this, even Brazil. No, no one can say we cannot beat them if we put uh, our house and, uh, in order. After all, Nigeria is the home of so many talent, a lot of talented sportsmen and women out of there in different sports. Even the ones that they don't have the weather, because there are some sports that have to do with weather, we still manage to learn about those sports. Good one for Golden Eaglet, what they've been told by Coach Manu Garba, you should not be complacent. Do everything possible to make sure you win your games. Don't take it for granted because you beat Ghana and Togo. Work harder and be smarter against the opponent you'll be facing the semi-final or so final. Who knows? Maybe they will go uh, Ladamboso way by also scooping this competition. We've been looking at what they've done so far. Uh, but look at the considered 4-2 uh, against Ghana. That's two goals. The considered one against... Um, then, uh, sorry, Togo. Togo yeah. And if you add it together, that's three goals. Three goals. Uh, minus the seven, they, uh, they we scored. We have four goals. They have four goals. <laughs> and I remember uh, Ubade was saying, really, the boys have not really impressed him. I know it's a mind game anyway, but to some extent, he's trying to use that also to push them to perform better. Uh, for me, I'm not a coach. Mm. But I believe that if, you know, you are dealing with uh, the children that are not yet mature, and then whatever thing, yes, yeah, they are raw talent. Whatever thing you say, go a long way in their life. If you praise them too much, in my hand, that their heart is me that is playing like this. <laughs> and then by doing that, you will not be able to get the listen to the instruction from your technical crew whenever they are digging it out to you. So for me as a coach, like I said, I'm not a coach, but if I see someone that is doing well, I will try as much as possible to tell them that you have not doing well for him, for him or her to do well more. No. Because if you just say that, ah, you've played That's well, you score seven goals, you dribble, you do this one, it will go straight to their brain that, yes, maybe they will think that they have arrived. And then they have not arrived yet. Until when they win the crop, that is when Nigeria will say, And even in yes, West Africa. Even in the, the West Africa. The by the time African, they go for the Africa, mm. so they will be able to try as much as possible to forget whatever, whatever, um, how will I put it, whatever hype, People are giving to them. Concentrate on the game. Let your eyes be on the ball. Score more goals and bury the game. That is that is what will be able to work for them as, as a young lad. But if you start pressing them now, the goalkeeper will just say, ah, JB, I've not catch, I've not done this. <laughs> before you know, they will be carried away and then the opponent will be uh, getting the back of the net. Before you know, they will be out of the competition. And then which is not good for the for the nation. For me, as a coach, you need to tell your player. Yes, you, you, you give me a result, but I'm not, you didn't, impressed. I'm not impressed. You need to do more. Just to aid them, Just to, to, aid them to perform better. Mm. So I think it's a very good one for them. Coach Mbad, everybody right now is at least uh, he's trying his best to motivate the boys by telling them, yeah, you are yet to impress me. Despite winning two games, well, you did well by winning, but you are yet to impress me. Play better. We can win this cup. We have two more game, games to go, semi-final, final, and at least we rule West Africa before we go to Africa okay. international level. Well, good one from Golden Eaglets. Uh, let's hope that they will be able to win their game. They will play next, and we just hope that they will come back home with the trophy, just like their senior colleague did in the Flying Eagles. If you continue with the age grade football, according to what Joel Ajayi just said, we will be having a pool of best players in Nigeria. 
La Liga Under-15 ended. We saw a lot of talented players there, and they can be transferred to uh, the Under-17, 17, 17, so 20, and 20 will be moved to 21, 23, and then Super Eagles. Who says we can't beat the world? We can't beat any team when we do the right thing at the right time. Talking about Golden Eagles there. See, looking at Nigerian sport, well, it's always a good one because when you look at Nigeria, sport, really, Unifying factor that has kept so much of all of us together it doesn't have to do with religion or tribe. When Nigeria is competing, everyone forgets who they are and they unite as one country. And that alone makes a lot of people happy and also bring food on their table because that's where they end their living. We appreciate Nigerian sportmen and we really want to appreciate the fact that they are doing the business of competing. Now let's go international as we talk about some uh, Nigerians or some transfer stories. A player that plays for Almeria, his name is Sadiq Umar, has been fantastic, scoring 18 goals last season. And now Benfica, the team from Porto, who just recently sold uh, Nunes to Liverpool, they want to get him. Well, from the way it is, they are really turning attention to Umar Sadiq, very, very good player, and they want to get him to join them over there in Portugal. I think I think I, I will start with this expression that I say hard work pay. When you work hard, there is no how you will not get results for it. I think that is what uh, Sadiq is getting right now. I think uh, Sadiq single-handedly showed her the Almeria. Uh, Almeria, and then the results of his hard working has pulled the Almeria from the second division to to where they have right the Gondali, yes to, to, Primera. to, to Primera, where they are now and then for club to be coming even I even expected more club to come because a lot of clubs are, yes are, I expected more Villarreal, club to come because he has uh, he has worked for it mm. and then he need to play at the big level for him to showcase the talent that God has deposited in him the guy is talented I watch him in uh, Abuja here when we play uh, Serie A, though it's not that, that uh, I, I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, but yeah, he came, uh, on, as a he came on as a substitute, and then he was not that uh, that impressed. Too. That's my own in my own opinion. I don't know any other opinion. But this guy, give this guy ninety minutes, he will give you the result, and then the result of what he has done in the past, the one working for him. But he's go beyond playing in a small club like this. You need to play in a big club. For you to compete, for you to be among the best eleven in the whole world, for you to be competing for Ballon d'Or, you are even at times self. Who said that the like of uh, uh, um, Umar will not be competing as the Manning Salah are competing for Ballon d'Or this time around? Now. But you need to just uh, keep on working hard mm -hmm. and get the result for yourself and for whatever club or whoever club you are playing for. It's a very just, good one for Just you. what you raised now, you know, it's been a while Nigerian players or footballers, let me use that word, yeah. Nigerian footballers have been on the radar of uh, FIFA, uh, best player, or Ballon d'Or, yeah. best player, even CAF, best player. Uh, it's been a while, very, very long time ago, and it's high time. These guys should think about it, that, okay, what has really happened to us? We are no longer among those who have been picked by CAF, best 11, or CAF, uh, best player of the year, or let alone even getting closer to mention uh, FIFA or uh, uh, Ballon d'Or. So, Super Eagles, right now, like somebody rate them. He yeah. said, Super Eagles, like, they are like average players. Why did he say that? If you look at all the awards in Africa, by the time they say CAF best 11 or CAF first, uh, the best three, yeah. no Nigerian. Yeah. You won't pick. You, yeah. you saw what happened at the Nations Cup. Yeah. It was very hard. I think a uh, singular was with Simon. As that was even second uh -huh. is, the, so, is on the bench. Aside the bench. from yeah. the Simon that was picked even on the bench. Yeah, for the bench. That means that our entire squad were not rated at all. So it, it's, it's high time Super Eagles players, whatever they are playing mm. in the whole world, they should mm. begin to look at, ah, why can't we just make it to become one of the best in Africa then in the world? That is where I was coming from. Mm. The like of Kanu became the Africa Footballer of, the of the year because they play for the club like Ayas, yes. they play like for the club like Asna. You cannot be, um, I, I, I don't know, but I will say it with all sense of sincerity. You cannot be playing for the club like Ameria, the club like uh, All City, 
and you expect them to pick you among those people that will it be. So my advice with what you just said for most of our players, yes, they have every player, they are doing well. But who say you cannot do, you cannot do better? And get and the then, bigger club coming And get the you. bigger club come for, coming from you. Look at uh, uh, this guy, Calvin Bassey. He plays for Rangers. Rangers. They just won uh, uh, Scottish League. Now uh, Axon Villa is coming for you. For, for you. Okay, agree. Good one. He's coming to the EPL. From there, he can move on. But what, 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 who says that? Uh, I, I bet to disagree with you. Chelsea can come. I bet to disagree Why with you. Why don't Chelsea come? <laughs> when you, oh, are, when come. you are playing in, at, at Ranger and then you want to come to, to Aston, Aston Villa. Villa. For me, it's like a one step backward. backward. To be sincere with ourselves, we are saying this thing with all sense of sincerity. If you want to move from the club that won the league, you go to a bigger club That's or one of the... Champions that league. is good for Champions League or uh, uh, UEFA. That is my own point. But look at it among all Nigeria players, except uh, Mr. Simon that a bit uh, single himself out in terms of international yeah, Osime, and all these things. Osime is doing well. Yes. But where you are playing... Uh, Zaydu Sanusi yeah. for FC Porto. For FC Porto. And now FC Porto... Uh, the clubs that are coming for him are Fulham, Brighton. My brother, it's not a crime for us to see Nigeria player playing for Bas ba Barcelona. It's not a crime for us to see Nigeria play for Real Madrid. Of course. Even play for the like of... They've played for Chelsea, Chelsea before. They've played for Manchester. Manchester. You play for big club. That is when you'll be able to be among... Even if, if, you, if you're among the top 20, it's, it's something to reckon with. But look at it. When you are not among the best 11 in Africa... How are we going to be there in, in, in the whole world? So for me, all of them, they, are, they need to just improve from their game. They need to improve from their thinking. Because many people will think that, okay, if I didn't move to a better club, maybe this club is, doesn't need my business anymore. But if you work very hard, if you work very hard, if you do not allow that thing to enter your brain, you, there is no how bigger club will not come for you. Mm -hmm. And then if you play, let's say you play among the, the uh, Real Madrid now, that, that won the Champions League now, there is no how at least six of Madrid or four of Madrid players will be in this, uh, in this first 11. That is how it works. You cannot play in lower club and then you want to, you want to, you want to win this thing. So for me, we need to try as much as possible. They need to try as much as possible to improve on that game. Know the club they want to go. And then if you work out, like we are saying about Sadiq now, the, the, the work he has done now is making him to be going up. I expected him to just be going up, not coming down. That if you are playing for, let's say the deal worked for, with Benfica, Benfica now, tomorrow now, or maybe next season, you will see him uh, just uh, looking for Aston Villa or the Swan City. To play <laughs> in the name of, I want to play in, in oh EPL. Goodness. You need to maintain the tempo as for you to get there. Why, why a lot of people, as the attention, like I said, where you are a king, FC Porto, and then Fulham, Brighton coming for you. We want, I, you want, it's been a while we've seen Nigerians among the top best in Africa. We need to be there among the top best teams in the world. That's when you are going to be rated because they know how competitive those clubs are. It's high time Super Eagles need to up their game. Uh, playing in all the uh, smaller teams, they need to we want to see them just the way we used to see them in Ajax, in Arsenal, in uh, Olympiacos, and all of that. Well, we hope that they will actually up their game there. Now, let's look at some story before we go. Barcelona said to beat Chelsea, so uh, Sevilla players call you Skonde. Konde has been fantastic, but right now, the defender seems to be generating a lot of attention from Barcelona who are ready to beat Chelsea. Chelsea has been the one knocking at the door, but right now, the no camp team are ready to take that player away <laughs> quickly. I, I don't want Savi to cause problem for himself mm. because if you look at the transfer market, you see ba ba Vaca, they are everywhere. They want to sign these, they want to sign these. And they don't really have and the then cash. They, they, they don't really you have that financial muscle mm. to do that. At, right now, I'm not talking about next year they or this year. They should it, just yeah. allow yeah. this. Yeah. And then you buy this kind of player now, you, can, you, you might keep it on the bench. Mm. So for me, I don't want my finest coach because he's one of my, my best players. He was my best player and then now he, one of the coaches. To have headache why, why you are trying as much as possible to gather more players. Just be, be specific. Look for the player that you need, that you know that you need right now because that you are building your team. So try as much as possible not to just uh, buy as many as possible players.
Good one there. Now let's look at two more stories. Then we'll wrap it up. Talking about Manchester City. Well, they are, they are the, the owners. They call them City Group team. They are ready to add the Palermo. Palermo of Italy. Uh, they want to add them as their 11th team. Yes, they have 10 teams already across the whole world. And the owners, the City Group, are ready to make sure they have Palermo. They're already in talks with Palermo owners. Now they want to get that team. And let's look at the 10 teams that uh, Man uh, City owners, that they call City Group, they own. Manchester City of England, New York City in USA, Melbourne City of Australia, Girona in Spain, Lomel in Belgium, Troyes in France, Montevideo City in Uruguay, you have Sijuan Jinu of China, Mumbai City of India, and they have Yokohama Marinos of Japan. Now they'll be going Italian by getting Palermo. Palermo will be joining. If everything goes well with the talks they are having right now, they'll be buying Palermo. That will make it the 11 team, that City Group team actually acquiring. What a way to do business. And the last one, the log is the Manchester United are the favorites. They're favorites to sign for two midfielder, the one they call Vitinha. Well, Portuguese players have been very uh, favorable to Manchester United. Bruno Fernandes, as an example. Ronaldo, example. And you have Vitinha now coming. Let's see what Vitinha can offer if they are able to get this Porto midfielder. Maybe already they are getting a replacement for Puba. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that is your own interpretation. <laughs> but, uh, but, but for me, it will be a very good one because we need, like I said in the morning, we need at least a player that can move mm. on like a uh, uh, Pogba you know, if you remember bit, when yeah. Bruno Fernandes was yeah. coming, a lot of people were like, Bruno Fernandes, those that have not seen him play, but really, the guy has been fantastic. There, that there, there is no doubt about that, but he, he too needs to improve on his, uh, in his game, mm. because if he did not improve on his game, we fans will pray that maybe next season, if he's, <laughs> he, he, he should go the way of uh, Pogba. Uh, Pogba, because uh, he too, the, the, I saw the kind of knocks, right? little selfishness mm. in him. When you have a ball and then you have your opponent that you can give ball to, and then because you want to make name, you play. Though you that, mo most of the player used to be service, but at least sometimes you, you prove to the, the world that at least other people can also do bet even better than you. Mm. That is my own point. So you need to improve on his, uh, on his game. And then before you wrap it, the City Group, we want them to come to Nigeria too. To because we have, like Yimba, <laughs> we have the like of Enimba, we have the like of Canopilla. They should it's not just uh, put it to Europe. Africa is also a place that mm. you can invest in. I like that. At yeah. least they move around the whole world. They've gone to Australia, <laughs> yeah. Japan, you, uh, US. When are you coming to Africa? Come and buy one. And if you're coming to Africa, come, <laughs> come to, to Nigeria. Nigeria. Talents yes. are so diverse here. <laughs> Get a team from Nigeria. You can buy any one of the team in Nigeria. I'll be very glad. Yeah. City Group team, that we can have appeal there coming from Joel Ajayi and this yes, so. support crew. <laughs> well, that'll be a good one. Now to wrap it up, thank you very much for coming on the show, Joel Ajayi. My pleasure. Good one there. We want to appreciate the fact that you stay glued on your team to watch uh, 360 Sport on Trust TV. I am Adeni Ajishafe. Thanks for watching.